so several of you have been waiting for this video and if you have family or friends living in Georgia, particularly in the Waynesboro area, which is about 30 miles from Augusta, or if you're planning to move here, or even if you're curious about how the hurricane has impacted Burke County, then this video is definitely for you because in my previous videos, I showed the post hurricane conditions in the Augusta, Georgia area, but today I'm gonna focus on Waynesboro. I'm gonna take a look, we're gonna drive through, I'm gonna show you how everything is progressing now that we're a couple of weeks recovering from the hurricane. Hey everyone, I'm Delrisa Rollerson, Augusta's Relocation Specialist. Welcome to the original Living in Augusta, Georgia channel. So on this channel, I share the good, the bad, the ugly as it relates to living in the Augusta, Georgia area. And I also specialize in assisting those with their real estate needs, specifically here in the Augusta, Georgia and surrounding area. So if you need assistance in your real estate needs, feel free to give me a call, send me a text or an email. And also my information is here on the screen. So here we're gonna start by taking a drive through Waynesboro, Georgia. We're gonna look at the damage that was done as a result of Hurricane Helene. And Waynesboro is in Burke County, which is right outside of Augusta, Georgia. It has a population of just under 6,000 people. So it's really small, but despite the small size, it has a rich history. So as we drive through, you're gonna notice the historic homes, the buildings, and they show a Southern heritage and charm. Also, the city of Waynesboro is known for its agricultural roots with a Farming, that really plays a big part of the local economy, particularly like cotton, peanuts, and other crops. It's also home to plant Vogel. So that's one of the nation's largest nuclear power plants. So they provide a lot of jobs here in the Augusta, Georgia area, in Waynesboro, in Burke County, Columbia County, and also Richmond County. So now as we head out to Waynesboro, we're on the 25, and this is about 45 minutes or so from the Augusta area. It really depends upon if you're in Evans, Grovetown, or Augusta. So if you're in Evans or further into Grovetown, it can be about an hour ride to Waynesboro. But we've arrived here, and as we look at Waynesboro, you'll notice a lot of trees have been cut um, it's two weeks post Hurricane Helene and there are trees like this that are just basically stacked in front of several of the homes and you'll have an opportunity to see the style of homes that are here in Waynesboro. Now this facility here, I love this type of Southern style building. This is like back in the antebellum days there, you see there are two staircases here on this building one staircase now they say that one staircase was for the man one staircase was for the lady and that was something that um basically was done back way back in the day because the men were not supposed to look upon the ladies at their ankles so of, of course as you know when a lady comes up the stairs she shows her ankles so to prevent any issues they have the two staircases in addition to it being grand so that's just part of a little history lesson not sure how much fat that is but it sounds good and i'm gonna stick with it that's what i've been told so currently this looks pretty clear this is the downtown area like the business district for waynesboro So while driving through Waynesboro, I did see this one disaster service truck that's there. So they are out in the streets working to um, take care of everything as a result of the hurricane. And a very familiar site in Burke County, which is where we are now in Waynesboro and Columbia County and Richmond County, are just these trees all along the streets piled in front of people's homes. This is a very familiar site right now. So this is something that is in the process of being taken care of. It just really shows you the extent of the damage that was done and the disaster. Like look at this tree here. So many trees were just totally uprooted and on top of homes and just, just it's been really, it's a bad situation in some cases. Then there's the low power line that's here. 
So for those in Burke County, Columbia County, and Richmond County who lost power during the storm, can you put down in the comments like how many days you were without power or if your power is back on? I mean, like you, you, there are still some people that do not yet have power, I believe like out in Aiken County. So whatever county you're in, can you put your county that you're in down in the comments and the number of days that you were without power or if you still do not yet have power as a result of the hurricane. I'm just really curious to know the numbers here. Now, to continue to show you the power of the wind from that hurricane, look to the left of your screen here. You'll see this gas station and the damage that was done from the hurricane. This is just amazing to me. So please keep the city of Waynesboro in your prayers as they continue to recover from this storm. And I'll be providing updates to you of the surrounding areas of how everything is progressing over time. And then thanks so much again for watching the original Living in Augusta, Georgia channel. I'm Delrisa Rollerson, Augusta's relocation specialist. Oh, and then also YouTube selected this next video with you in mind. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next video.